Hey guys, Nikita here. Very quick and fun tutorial. Yeah, I just translated here this tutorial from 3D World because he's doing that in SolidWorks and plasticity. It's a little bit different, but really fun. So let's delete it and go to the front view. So just create a circle, snap it to origin and just type in 500 value. Select it with right click. So we have something like this. Now, uh, yeah, because in SolidWorks it works a little bit different with tangent C's and all that stuff. It's not possible here in plasticity as I found out, but I found a way. So again, create a circle, but this time with the value 44.5, that works pretty good. So just uh, click here, right click and right click. So now press G and V to bring this pivot here at the edge and with control click, just snap it here to this outer edge. So we have a little circle inside of the circle and now select the little circle, a circle and make it an array and just bring it into 32. So it's important that they are mm, yeah, intersecting, but we have here the same starting angle as here where we have those 90 degrees. So just in short, just make it 32 <laughs> because they yeah, have tried it already and press OK. So we have a lot of circles, press 2. We don't need all of those and all of those, but we need those which are intersecting those 90 degrees axis. So what we have to do now is create a new circle so we can cut it and yeah, create this kind of uh, yeah snake shape or something. I don't know. So uh, snap it to the middle and snap it here to the center of this little circle. Perfect. So now we have to do some cutting. So press T and just follow along, but you will understand what shape we need. So you see we are starting here and it's going like that and like that. And it's just following always this half circles. Um, yeah, so cut everything what we don't need. So something like this and perfect. So we are left. So it's starting like this and it ends also like this. And also we cut, uh, can cut now or we can just select this circle here and delete it. So now we have to do some little adjustments because you see we have, yeah, this little, yeah, distance. So we have to make it smooth and we will cheat a bit. So press one and just zoom in and take this point and with control click, just snap it to the other point. Yes, I know it's not tangent, but we will solve it in a second. And then just press two and delete this edge. We don't need it. So we will do it again here. So it's on every intersection. So just delete this edge here, press one and with control click snap this point to this other point. And let's uh, do that for all of those other points. I will just fast forward. And the last one, delete edge, take this point and just connect it. Perfect. So now we have to um, connect everything. So select them all, press J to join and just rebuild this curve. So it's just a little bit smoother than in a second. So select everything, press rebuild and just drag this tolerance like very, very low. So you have a yeah, few more points and it's just a little bit smoother. So right click. Perfect. And now comes the magic part. So press Alt X and um, Y to, yeah, to mirror it. And again, press J. And now you have to select this curve and again, revolve and just snap it to the Z axis and drag it upwards. So we have something like that, but degrees should be 180. So it's just a half right click. Select this curve here, delete it. We don't need it. And let's uh, close the surface here. So select uh, this uh, sheet here and patch holes along edges. And now again, select it again, Alt and X and press X to mirror it again. Right click. And now just select here this half here and go to this right view and press R and just rotate it to 90 degrees. And now select both of them, Q, Q to union them, right click and awesome guys. So I hope you liked it. Join our free Ultimate 3D community and get a free plasticity course. So see you there and see you also in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.